Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about noise induced hearing loss. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Noise induced hearing loss is hearing impairment resulting from chronic exposure to loud sounds. It is different from acoustic trauma. It is a hazard of noisy occupations. There are two types of NIHL. They are temporary threshold shift TTS and permanent threshold shift PTS. What is the pathogenesis of NIHL? Damage to hair cells starting in the basal turn of cochlea. Outer hair cells are affected before the inner hair cells. What are the factors influencing the damage caused by noise? Frequency of noise. Frequency of 2000 to 3000 Hz is more dangerous. Intensity and duration of noise. There is something called as 5 decibel rule of time intensity. Any rise of 5 decibel noise level will reduce the permitted noise exposure time to half. For example, for 90 decibel, the permitted daily exposure is 8 hours, while the permitted daily exposure is only 4 hours for 95 decibels, and for 100 decibels, it will be 2 hours. Continuous versus interrupted noise. Continuous noise is more dangerous. Susceptibility of the individual. Some individuals are more prone to develop noise induced hearing loss. Pre existing ear disease also might lead to noise induced hearing loss. What are the symptoms of noise induced hearing loss? High pitched tinnitus. Difficulty in hearing in noisy surroundings. This is a chief symptom during the initial stages of the disease. As the duration of noise exposure increases, that is, as the disease advances, significant hearing impairment results. What are the findings in noise induced hearing loss? Audiogram shows a typical notch at 4000 Hz both for air conduction and bone conduction during the initial stages of the disease. This will be symmetrical on both ears. As the duration of noise exposure increases, that is, as the disease advances, the notch deepens to involve lower and higher frequencies. Prevention and Management Pre-employment and annual audiograms for workplaces where noise is greater than 85 decibels for early detection. Ear protectors, that is, ear plugs and ear muffs, should be recommended for individuals at higher risk. Rehabilitation for affected individuals. Thank you.